Hey everybody, this is another video review on Watch All About. And in this video, we're not looking at a watch, we're looking at another watch accessory or another watch product. Uh, I really love getting my hands on decent watch products. This is the WatchPod watch display stand. Now, I particularly love supporting fellow watch review sites. So when Matt from Watch Review Blog asked if I would check these out, I was more than happy to. I reviewed a few desk stands uh, in the past, in particular a couple from Indaloo. Uh, so I do have something to compare to them in real life experience of using these things as well, seeing how they actually work, are they actually worth it, etc, etc. The watch pod stands are extremely affordable, in fact the cheapest of the lot. Uh, they're also pretty simple in design as well, effectively simple. So let's check them out. So first of all it's good to note that we have two sizes. So on the left hand side here we have three large ones, on the right hand side here we have three small ones. So the price is, the large is $15 or about £12, the small is $13 or around about a tenner, £10. Very, very uh, reasonably priced. Size then, so the large is three and a half inches tall and two and a half inches wide. The small is three inches tall and two and a quarter inches wide. So quite similar in size, but just enough to make a difference to how the watches fit. And we'll have a look at that in a moment. The overall construction is a very simple, bended and polished pole of steel with four rubberized tubes attached to it. It's as simple as that. So as you can see here, our tube starts here, goes all the way around, all the way down, across, along here, and back uh, around. So literally just one piece of the tube which is bent, and then these four rubberized tubes attached. So the bottom two tubes act as the feet, if you will, and the top two tubes are where you actually fit the watch to. So these rubberized tubes provide good grip to not only the surface itself, so you can see there I can move it around, but only if I really quite push it quite hard, but also to the uh, the strap or bracelet as well. As you can see, these uh, rubberized tubes have a linear ridged finish, which provides all of the grip. So they all have it, apart from this bottom one, which has a flat section with the watch pod, watch pod logo uh, printed on top. And interestingly, these two bottom ones, you can actually rotate. So if you really wanted to, you could hide the logo. And you can see there, I've got this one here hidden away now because I've just rotated that out of sight. So the steel is actually really strong and sturdy. I've tried bending it, you know, with quite a lot of, I've given it a real good go and it's kept its shape and miraculous, you know, I can't bend it at all. So it's very unlikely to get damaged or lose its shape in time, you know, very, very impressive how, considering how thin the steel is, it's really, you know, giving it a real good bend there and it's just not doing a thing, so that's good. So onto the sizes then, which size should you go for? Well, if you're, if you're buying it for a watch with a standard tang buckle, then it doesn't actually matter. The only thing that matters is the leather strap has to be on the long side uh, because this uh, Akenfalk, very, very nice 24 hour indicator watch, vintage inspired, has a relatively short uh, leather strap. And if I put it on the very last hole, you will see that only just can I put it on the large. And that is a little bit tight for my liking. That will probably end up damaging the strap more than I would like. So that would definitely be more suited to the small. So if I get the small, and then you can see I'll just pull this in to a slightly smaller size and that fits a lot more nicer, a lot more comfortable as you can see there. Not quite as much strain on the leather strap. However, this beast here, this ballast uh, with a much longer strap, this will easily fit on the large as you can see there and I still have a couple of holes to spare. So if you've got a leather strap Make sure you're aware, is it a, a relatively short leather strap? If it is, then definitely go for the small one. If you've got a really massive wrist and you've got a long leather strap to suit, then you should be okay with the large. So what about on a bracelet then? Well, I've got this very nice NTH Nacken or Narken. As you can see, perfectly sized to my approximate seven inch wrist. Let's give it a go. So first of all, 
Let's try it on the large. And as you can see, that is actually not gonna fit at all. However, if I pop it on the small and just fit, I found actually that if you just gently rest the bottom of the lug on this bottom section, then it fits perfectly. You'll see there that it fits very nicely. So the takeaway from that with bracelets is basically only go for the large if your wrist size is over seven and a quarter inches, because if it's seven inches like mine and less, your bracelet size definitely won't fit on the large, but it will fit nicely on the, uh, on the small. So finally, just, you know, just actual general use of it. It's really easy just to slip it on and off, as you can see. Here we go. There you go, taking it off. And pop it back on like that, like so. So, you know, such a simple design, really, really clever design uh, that lets the, watch do, lets the watch do all the talking as well. You know, you can see here that uh, I have my three watches in a line there. Uh, if I wanted to, I could rotate the logo out of the way. And, you know, in reality, it is all about the watches now, isn't it? So a very clever, understated design that they've utilised here. So there you have it. All in all, I really like the stands and for the price, they're really hard to knock as well. You know, £10, £12 or $13, $15, they're really, really cheap. They're well made, really clever simplicity in design as well. They're attractive enough to be a nice product, you know, displayed on a desk, for instance, or a worktop, or a you know, bedside table, but it's not too bold to be unsightly, taking away uh, everything from the watch itself. And it just does a good solid job of holding your watches as well. So great product for a great price. And you know, I'd highly recommend it as well. If you're looking for a watch stand that you know, is cheap and it literally holds your watches in a pretty nice unassuming way, then I'd definitely recommend it. So big thumbs up, big thumbs up for me. So thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also comment your thoughts below on the WatchPod watch display stand. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.